pull out the question, yeah. and everybody's gonna get a different question. Like, Wait, like, there's, there's like, we can pretend like there's questions in there. <laughs> <laughs> When someone mentions HIV, what is the first thing you think of? I think of out of personal experience, perseverance. The illness doesn't define you as a person. Only gay men do. A myth I've heard is that it's transmitted, you know, via saliva, via touch, you know, via the air. You can get HIV from hugging somebody. Do they talk about HIV in school? Because I don't know my school did. They, they, they really because we can ask like can we can ask like when the, like when when do you think it's the right age to start discussing HIV? Ooh. Fifteen. Oh, never mind. I think younger than that because younger. some kids have sex yeah. at 14, 13. Yeah. Yeah. How about what age? Yeah. Same sex or about HIV? in middle school, you know, what sex is, but they don't teach you, like, the repercussions of it. I think that um, middle schooler age is the best age because then you start getting to know about <laughs> the disease early on. Well, when I was eight, my mom sat me down and had this safe sex talk with me. I was eight years old. But we never actually talked about like why I needed to be safe when I had sex. But uh, then I started with Latin as a vision, and that's when I learned about like HIV and STDs and like prevention um, from all that. And so I think it was like around 14, 15. Like, well, what's the definition of health? Because some school systems and schools think sexual health is the only thing what they teach the about is abstinence only. You know? Or you can say, but like, safe so, sex, what's your definition? What is your definition? My definition of sexual health is education. Well, sexual health, I think, encompasses not only being comfortable with your own body, but being comfortable in how you interact not only with you yourself physically and mentally, but those interactions and how you handle those interactions. And they may themselves be at times very explicit, but it's how you're able to handle that in a way that's healthy and safe. Definitely including like having more youth events in general and having like, life hacking a part of it. 